Hi, I'm Legolock, a Legacy Locked Iron Man. I'm an RS3 player locked into the Legacy Combat Mode and the Legacy Interface, which means I can't use any abilities. And yes, that includes movement abilities. I have quite big plans including, but not limited to, the Reaper Crew achievement, full best in slot gear, and even solo 100% Zamorak. I'm playing modern day RuneScape in an old school way. This will not be easy, but fortunately, I love a good challenge. I'm Legola, and welcome to my journey. In our previous episode, we breached the threshold of the wintry north and landed within the God Wars dungeon to fight Krill head on. This offers access to a plethora of upgrades such as tier 70 power armor, as well as tier 75 weaponry, namely the Zamorakian spear, which is a huge component of our plans to engage the corporeal beast. We need to make sure that we're ready for this though. As it stands, we have multiple tier 70 pieces of gear that are ready to be augmented, but we're lacking the ability to tinker around with components. So today, we unlock Invention. Invention is a pretty big grind, so while I'm working on unlocking it, I'm actively going to be working on getting 70 in my melee stats as well as prayer. 70's melee stats will allow me to use the Barrow's weapons I obtained in my previous episode, and 70's strength will allow me access to General Grodor in God Wars Dungeon 1. Speaking on access, 70 prayer will allow me to take on Commander Ziliana as well as give me the ability to use piety, rigor, and augury prayers. The ability to get Bandos armor will be huge as it'll be a solid set of augmentable power gear, which will be a decent setup for Corporeal Beast when paired with the Zamorakian Spear. As for Ziliana, the only big upgrade I'd potentially need from there is the Ceredoman Godsword. The special attack will heal you and restore your HP based on how high you hit, but in the long run, I don't see myself using this too often as special attack energy is pretty valuable. You can make Godsword special attacks passive via using it on its respective boss instance altar, but relying on RNG is typically not a good strategy to lean on. So, that grind is up in the air at the moment. As for other unlocks, I'll be focusing on the following this episode. All the penguin quests to fully unlock all potential penguins for the weekly D&D, ancient magics, 50 runecrafting for Viswax, and getting access to the fishing guild. The Penguin D&D offers a bountiful amount of weekly experience which will not only help the invention grind, but also all future grinds, namely Plague's End. Viswax offers instant home teleports, which is a huge quality of life, extended aura durations for the future, and the ability to re-roll or extend my dailies to give me double daily experience or give me dailies in a skill I desire. The Fishing Guild will allow me to access the Traveling Merchant, which carries a lot of valuable stock items such as the Livid Plant for Livid Farm reputation, Reaper's Gifts, Effigy Lamps, Daily, Weekly, and Monthly Tokens, and the list goes on. But my eyes are currently set on those Death Touch Darts. I'm gonna need a lot, so I need to start saving and stacking them up. Finally, Ancient Magics is pretty self-explanatory. Ancient spells are the best spells to use when maging, and Blood Spells will do wonders for sustain. But I have been here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> trying to find this ancient emblem oh my gosh dude any day now please <laughs> oh my gosh finally dude <laughs> why did that take so long perfect that is dig site all finished up that is a good amount of mining experience i didn't know that it gave you that and then two thousand herb lore experience heck yeah dude uh oops <laughs> probably should have read <laughs> oh, i was supposed to unequip everything <laughs> There we go. That is Taurus Trap all finished up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Taurus Trap all finished up. Heck yeah, dude. That is 42 thieving. Now on to Temple of Ikov. Hopefully this is going to be enough ice arrows for the Fire Warrior. I did do Animal Magnetism for the back piece. So I have that effect passive now, but I don't know how accurate I'm going to be. So hopefully this is like a, a one shot deal. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that was a... Uh... A lot better than I thought it was going to be. And just like that, Temple of Ikov is all done. And that got us to, nice, 54 range and 42 fletching. Almost 43. Fingers crossed this is going to get us a lot of the levels. Let's see. Ooh, that's actually a very good experience drop. Come on. 45. Okay, so that's not as high as I thought, but it is a good amount of experience all knocked out. So eight more levels to knock out. And then we'll probably have to get some lock picks because if I remember correctly, the chest that we need to thieve is very tedious <laughs> to say the least so let's just go bust this out and get to it that is 47 thieving coming on in 48 and there's 49 there we go 50 thieving three more levels to go 51 52 53 thieving dude got everything we need for desert treasure oh that brought us to 1600 level milestone heck yeah dude oh dude this is great they're all, yep, they're all stacking right there, dude. Heck yeah. Nice. Easy lockpicks. Easy Iron Man lockpicks, bro. 
I got spicy garlic blood in a blessed pot. My favorite. There it is, baby. Oh, I hope I wasn't supposed to complete that um, dialogue. You know what? For the sake of the risk, I'm just going to carry the diamond on me. Because <laughs> how funny would it be if I get, if I just get nuked randomly? And the explanation of the series is this. Oh, there he is, the stranger. Oh, well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> I was extremely underwhelming. <laughs> Yeah, like they actually look like modern day RuneScape content people. There we go, dude. Oh, this guy was packing chocolate cake in a super restore. What a what a good guy, Camille. Thanks for the treat. Sweet. We got the diamond. Diamond or ice diamond. I was about to say diamond diamond. Um, well, diamond number two. We'll just call it that. Hey, smoke diamond. All obtained. Three out of four diamonds, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking heck. There we go. Round two. Full inventory lockpick. Surely this will be it. Dude, why is there RNG in quests? Why do I have to go get another full inventory of lockpicks now? <laughs> Round three, baby. Oh, let me see if I can get another lockpick from the young impling. If I do, then this is fate. It's destined. Bowstring. I can't open a lock with a bowstring. That's okay. You're too young to understand my needs. Frick you, game. Frick you. Good old Merlin. I wish you didn't have to drop, though. I wish you could just get a full inventory. This has to be the one. This is the third inventory, right? Oh my gosh. I just freaking did it. Yes. Oh, thank you, dude. Freaking finally. Hoggers, brother. The ring of visibility is here in my possession on my person. Dude, look at his person. Like, look at his character model. It's very unique. But heck yeah, all four diamonds, dude. We're on the final stretch of the quest, dude. The final stretch. Blood diamond in the northwest. Ice in the southeast. Oh my gosh, dude. The excitement that I used to feel coming up to this point. Oh man. Towards the end of this quest, I felt like I was unlocking the best thing in the world. I'm slightly feeling that way again. <laughs> this is going to be so sick, dude. Yo, Azza Nadra looking so modern. My boy Azzy is looking so modern. Huge, dude. Desert treasure complete, man. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Time to give it a shot, bro. Oh, it doesn't take any blood runes? Oh, it doesn't start taking blood runes until you get to blood blitz. It takes, oh, it takes death runes at this point. Okay, that makes sense. I just figured blood runes, blood spells, logic. But I guess I'm just a filthy illogical. We've got the plate legs of trials. Huge. Rewards. Give me all my stuff. Thank you. Plate legs of trials are on. Magic die T1 is rolled. Dude, a fortunate component and 200k. That's pretty much exactly what I expected. So I am satisfied. Wow, dude. Huge. Yeah, dude. Two hit Terry is in the house tonight. <laughs> he made an early appearance. Oh! oh no way! You are joking. Oh my gosh, dude. I have one to use and <laughs> there is no freaking way. That is so ridiculous. Oh my God, dude. Blood spells are just so good. I haven't had a single piece of food on purpose. Like I fished like three or four inventories of fish <laughs> in order to prep for the stream. <laughs> I've used like three pieces, three completed dailies. Every single day of the week. Sounds like a death touch start to me, bro. We now have 10k dungeoneering tokens. That is quite great. It's time to pay homage to a classic. And that is the Dragon Defender Grind. First time entering the Warriors Guild. This is cool. And it was funny. I didn't think about this until I was actually cleaning up my bank. I dropped the full set of black armor. And then I was like, wait a minute. I could use that. 
So we're going to just farm up enough tokens, grind out a dragon defender. And this might not be useful in the long run, but I'm going to kind of go by the idea that it's better to have it and not need it as opposed to needing it and not having it. So I'll get it and then I will use it to make the Barrows Defender. And then, you know, when we get to it, we'll use it to make the next Defender and the KK Defender. All right, that's 400 tokens. I'm not sure how long 400 tokens lasts. I honestly can't remember. It's been so long since I've done this. I'm just going to kind of gauge it and just see how far I can get. Because um, I imagine killing these is going to be a lot quicker than it used to be. So I probably won't need as many tokens in the grand scheme of things. So... Oh, heck yeah, dude. Bronze Defender. Freaking finally. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering how much longer it was going to take. Right, we now have three times the amount of Warrior's Tokens. So this should last us a little bit longer. It's time to increase the loot beam. I am no longer a peasant. I am a millionaire. So anything below 50k, don't at me. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Iron Defender was so much quicker. So much quicker. Oh, no way. Steel Defenders, like, right away. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, dude. Black Defender. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> dude. <like laughs> yes, dude. That was, like, not even five kills later. Mithril Defender. Dude. Yes, we're doing good. We have 920 tokens still. We're just coming up on using 500 tokens from bronze all the way to mithril. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I never really looked at how the defenders look prior to dragon, but pretty neat, dude. Oh, yes, dude. Addy defender. Oh my gosh. Took us 120 tokens. Not too shabby. Yes, dude, Rune Defender already. Holy crap. <laughs> dude, that took me technically like 80 tokens because as soon as I went through the door, it went down to 780. Heck yes, dude, Rune Defender. Just one more to go. You're joking already, dude. Dragon Defender grind is done. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. This is so good, man. Heck yes, the Dragon Defender is ours. That was such a neat trip down memory lane, man. Man, that feels so good. Feels so good. Invention stats are looking pretty healthy, bro. We're pretty close to 70 crafting. Coming in on 73 smithing. And we're almost 66 div. With the nostalgia of grinding the Dragon Defender, as well as being in the ideal level range for this piece of content, there's one more nostalgic item I decided to obtain. We have the Major Arena Cape. We also have Ava's Accumulator, but we have yet to obtain the mid-game melee cape, the Fire Cape. This may not be the best cape by today's standards, but this was the most prestigious unlock prior to the fight kiln. Let's take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Okay, boys, this might be it. Come on, one more hit, dude. One more hit. Oh, it was literally one HP. Oh, yes. Yes, dude. First try, baby. Oh, heck yeah. Oh my gosh. My palms, I, I freaking kid you not, are so clammy. <laughs> the fire cape is us. <laughs> the fire cape is us. My brain needs to just <laughs> adapt, dude. I, that was so sick. I am so am proud owner of a fire cape coming in. It's time to go flex this in Wars Retreat. Dude, we actually look like a Pog gamer. <laughs> Bro, this is so cool. This is like major nostalgia hit, dude. 
Enough of being amped and so sick. It is time to refocus. I think it kind of goes without saying that I am really proud of this whole entire setup. Dude, the Dragon Defender, Fire Cape. It's just so iconic, man. Just whenever I have downtime, this is going to be my outfit when I'm doing dailies. I, it's just incredibly nostalgic feeling, dude. And the Fire Cape. I remember when I got my first Fire Cape, it was like the best day of my life. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I was level 130 or something like that. I was one of those guys. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to make me feel this way because, you know, Fire Cape's just like a stepping stone nowadays in RS3, but it's it's all flooding back, dude, and it's hitting hard for sure. That is 70 crafting coming in, dude. Nice. But yeah, just moving on up. We have 72 smithing, 70 crafting, and 65 divination. Still a long ways off, but we are making progress. And that is all of the penguin quests completed. This was one of the longest grinds this episode because what I originally thought would only be about three quests turned into about seven or eight because I didn't do proper research. But nonetheless, they're all completed, which not only gave me good experience in the skills I needed like fishing, room crafting, crafting, and divination, but I also have full access to all available penguins every single week. I'm still missing access to some penguins if they land on continents like Miscellanea since I haven't done the quest to get access to those, but either way, the biggest hindrance is completed and leveling should be much, much quicker. Here we go. If we're gonna do a whole bunch of penguin quests for a good weekly, then we might as well knock out Tears of Guthix. So that took about two seconds. And then once I unlock Invention, I'll be able to upgrade the bowl to the Ornate Bowl, which will give me better experience rates but this should go right into summoning because i think that is my lowest level all right 58 tiers 108 quest points i didn't really have much time in there that got us to 43 not too shabby and there we are 50 room crafting three tries 96 on the first day dude i'll take it we just completed our fifth 20 hello we just completed <laughs> i'll get this we now have 250 reaper points to unlock my first reaper shop unlock in the whole entire series Death's Choice, which has a 10% chance of giving me the option of my Daily Reaper assignment. This is a very good unlock in general, but it's especially good for me because my schedule varies a ton, so I can not only choose a boss that I want, but I can also choose something that's easier and quick like Barrows, or if I have more time, God Wars Dungeon 1, so I can attempt to get some of my currently desired gear. 63 prayer, 64, 65, 66, and 97 combat. 74 magic heck yeah dude 74 defense and 98 combat it is now time to just knock out the rest of 70 attack at the very least i want to get to 70 attack and strength because 70 attack will allow us to wear some of the barrows weapons that we've gotten but 70 strength will allow us access to bandos and getting into bandos is going to be a pretty huge deal because on the surface it seems like bandos would be a little bit easier to do with magic than krill because not only will Blood Barrage hit more effectively against a melee class boss, I believe. Crow also has less life points, and I'll also be able to use Prayer, so I might be able to get more kills per trip, depending on how hard he actually hits. 66 strength. Oh, I also just noticed that I got 68 attack as well. <laughs> that was kind of melded together. 67 strength. And here comes the nicest attack level you've ever done, Saint. Unexpected 74 constitution. 68 strength. Oh man, this is such a huge level, dude. 70 attack is iconic. So many cool looking weapons unlock at this level. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Barrows. We have Barrows equipment. We have Torag's hammers. We have Guthan's war spear. Good, <laughs> good, good milestone. I cannot wait to use my Barrows equipment. Oh my gosh, moment of truth. Let us see. Oh no, I need 70 strength for this? I mean, makes sense. Makes sense. At least I have Guthans War Spear. <laughs> so let's try this one more time. Oh, dude, that is so cool. That is so sick. I guess our quest for a spear is technically, it ha it's like at a decent point. We have a tier 70 spear, but we do want to get that tier 75 so we can make it a tier 80 down the line. But oh man, I am so excited about this. I also can't wait to get 70 strength because I actually do really want to use the Torag Sammers. But dude, the grind to 70 strength. Let's knock it out. <laughs> oh, dude, I totally forgot about the spear attack animation. Oh, this is so cool, man. Oh, I love this, dude. Jab. Oh, dude, this thing hits like a freaking truck. Just chunks chunks like look at that chunk there it is dude 70 strength we now can use torax hammers and we also have access to bandos 
Let's just see what the max hit is with no buffs. Well, aside from leftover potions. 500. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at that animation. We got like a 15 FPS <laughs> animation, bro. So now that we have the hammers, we have full 70. We have base 70s combat stats with the exception of summoning, as always, prayer and ranged. Ranged, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not really going to focus on that just because it's so far behind at the moment, and I don't really have a major need for it at the moment. Prayer, I do want to get to 70, but I'm all out of ashes and everything, so I have to do a couple more wilder events, maybe farm some other things, but the big thing about 70 strength is that I now have access to Bandos' Stronghold. What this is going to allow us to do is obviously fight Gardor, but that is going to be good because if we end up getting some Bandos pieces, that'll be good for having a tier 70 melee setup to use against Corp. So it will take some time to get the drops that we need, but if we can get a Zamorakian Spear, a full set of Bandos, an Unlock Convention to get some basic perks, and we also have that extra Amulet of the Forsaken to put towards our new Relic, Berserker's Fury, we'll be in very good shape. All right, this should be the last little set. KC, a oh, friggin' Bloodburst Mercs. Love it, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Bandos? What is it called? Stronghold? Here we go. Oh wait, I didn't swap back to my staff. There we go. This should help a little bit, maybe? Come on. Come on, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, he hits like a freaking truck through prayer. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. Oh, golly. Heck yeah. No way! First kill! First kill! No way! You're actually joking! You are freaking joking, dude! <laughs> no! <laughs> dude! No way! That is absurd! Oh my gosh! Holy crap, bro! No freaking way! That is absurd! I am, I am in shock, dude. I am in shock. I can't believe that. That is actually ridiculous. All right, let's let's wear it. Let's see. Y'all were the first to see it. Oh, that looks so good, dude. I can't believe that, bro. That is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, I look like a third grader that dressed themselves for school, dude. <laughs> this is so good. Kicking off the general Gardor journey with a BCP really fueled my excitement for God Wars Dungeon 1. I spent a majority of my streams lately just running circles around Gardor's domain tirelessly in hopes to complete a yes, full set dude. of bandos. Yes, we lucked yes. out with a pair of boots and then another pair of boots as well as the second BCP, <laughs> but alas, we are still missing the helmet, no gloves, way. and tassets. Now, whenever I run low on death runes, I head on over to Barrows to replenish, while also secretly hoping that I get to complete a full set of Barrows gear. Oh, Although I haven't oh, quite yet, yes. let's just say I've been spooned. Quite Yo. spooned. My log progress, as you can oh. see on screen now, is absolutely absurd. I've started replacing my range set with Carol's gear, I have all melee slots covered with the exception of a plate body, and as for Arum's, I'm content with the staff due to having lunar gear at my disposal. Barrows has been very generous to me, as has Gardor, but the grind is far from done. Barrows is good filler gear, but we still need full bandos. And we also need that Zamorakian spear. And there is 77 smithing. We are doing very well on the invention stats, slowly but surely, but majority of it's been in the background because I've been mainly doing this on mobile and doing this while I'm cooking or doing whatever else I have to do. So 77 smithing, just hit that. We're gonna be pretty close to 88. I think I just have to do maybe two or three more trips of Necronium and Phasmatite. For crafting, I haven't really trained that actively too much with gem rocks. I've been doing a lot of jack of trades for the most part, but I'm going to be pretty much hard focusing that after I get smithing done. Divination has primarily just been all Guthixian caches. And since I hit 70, I'm able to do the engrams from the Hall of Memories. Those engrams give a burst of almost 40,000 experience. So that's been a nice boost on top of doing two caches per day. Probably going to hit 72 pretty soon. I might use my daily refresh for Guthixian caches. And so here's to pretty much the final stretch of the invention grind.
time has finally come to bring the biggest grind of this episode to a close. And that is Unlock Invention. So here we go. 80 Divination. 80 Crafting. And last but not least, 80 Smithing. Oh dude, it's time. It's time to walk into the Invention Guild for the first time. Walking for dramatic effect, by the way. This... <laughs> This is, this is legitimately game changing. This is going to be a very regular view from now on. Let's just get through this tutorial. Oh, I'm so excited right now. And there it is. The invention tutorial is all complete. This is a very, 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 I want to say surreal experience. I just, I am so glad to have that grind just out of the way. My goal now is to get my equipment augmented and I'm pretty sure I have a lot to do. <laughs> before then i mean i have a lot of energy from like wildy events it's just higher tier than what i'm able to obtain so i don't know if i'm technically able to use it but we'll see actually i might be able to use some of this but either way we'll see so yeah my goal now augment all wearable pieces of gear so a bando's chest piece um varix plate skirt's probably what i'm gonna do and torax hammers funny enough all these bolt racks actually came in good use because <laughs> i'm gonna need quite a bit of base parts for all of my augmenters i need 45 per augmenter and this stack of bolt racks might provide enough for i think two of them <laughs> out of all the things i disassembled i just like cleaned out my slayer tab with all the old salvage and everything that i had and didn't consider <laughs> how many components i'm gonna need to farm up so i should have done a little bit more prep work here is augmenter number one going right on to torax hammers I have no idea what that's saying. It's probably just a warning, but here we go. <laughs> Augmented Torag's hammers. You can't see, well, it looks exactly the same as it's always, it, <laughs> as it always has. First augmented piece of gear. <laughs> what better piece of gear than the hammers? But we also need to make some divine charges and we have enough simple parts for four. And fortunately, I can use this clump of energy I've gotten from Wildy events. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge up the charge pack a wee bit and, uh, for now, we're going to be focusing on getting more augmenters, getting our gear all set up. And yeah, this is this is really going to kick off some of the grinds in this series. Invention is a huge unlock. Quite literally changes everything as cliche as it is. But yeah, gameplay is going to be a lot different now. A lot different.